Hello traders, I latest asked ChatGPT to give me a trading strategy to turn $100 into $10,000 fast. And he gave me some tips such as focus on highly volatile assets, use technical analysis, be disciplined. Yeah, we all know that. Nothing specific. So I decided to be more specific with my question. I went ahead and asked to create the best strategy using an AI-based trading view indicator called the machine learning. This indicator is currently going fully viral. I also mentioned that the strategy's goal is to turn $100 into $10,000 in the shortest amount of time possible. It provided me with a detailed strategy. It wasn't really perfect, so I had to make some tweaks here and there, and here it is, the final setup. To check if the strategy really works, I will test it 100 times. For that, I will use the price of US 30 on a 3 minute time frame. But before I do that, let's actually open the charts and add the indicators. So the strategy includes free 3 trading view tools. I will explain how each indicator works as we add them one by one. So for the first indicator, let's add the machine learning KNN based strategy. Let's thank the creator Capizimo for this amazing indicator. By using historical data to train the algorithm, the machine can learn to recognize patterns and predict future market movements with greater accuracy. KNN is a classification algorithm that determines the class of a data point based on its nearest neighbors in the feature space. In the context of trading, KNN can be used to classify whether a stock price is likely to go up or down based on its historical data. To use KNN for trading, historical price data is first collected and transformed into a feature vector. The feature vector can include technical indicators such as moving averages, the relative strength index, and momentum indicators. The KNN algorithm is then applied to the feature vectors to classify whether the stock price is likely to increase or decrease. This indicator is not repainting. However, you do have to wait for the candle bar to close before you can consider a signal to be valid. It is also very simple to read. The indicator basically prints blue and pink labels, which are buy and sell signals. Depending on the strength of the signals, labels may have lower or higher capacity. Of course, we cannot use this indicator on its own as this will lead to a lot of false signals. That's why we need to add the next indicator, which is called the EMA mean exponential moving average. The exponential moving average is a trading indicator that consists of exponential moving averages plotted on a price chart. EMA is calculated by taking the average of a specified number of prices, usually closing prices, over a given time period. And then adjusting the weighting for each price according to a smoothing factor. EMA is considered more responsive to price changes than other moving averages, such as the simple moving average, SMA, because it puts more emphasis on recent prices. Analysts use EMA to identify trends, potential entry and exit points, and support and resistance levels in Forex markets. When the EMA is slop upwards, it indicates that the market is in the uptrend, and when the EMA is slop downward, it indicates that the market is in a downtrend. The EMA ribbon will help us identify potential buy or sell signals based on the direction of the trend and the location of the price relative to the moving averages. As we can see, this EMA indicator comes with buy and sell signals. Since we already have a buy and sell indicator on a chart, which is the machine learning, let's actually disable those EMA breakout. If we take a look at the chart, we can see that this indicator does filter out a lot of fake signals, but there are still some left. That's why ChatGPT suggested using the relative strength index as secondary confirmation. As you probably know, the RSI is used in trading to measure the strength of a securities price action. It is displayed as a line on a chart that ranges from 0 to 100. When the RSI is above 70, it is generally considered overbought, and when it is below 30, it is generally considered oversawed. As part of our strategy, we will make the RSI more sensitive. This way, we will get more valid trade entries. Open the style of the indicator and change the RSI upper band to 60 and the RSI lower band to 40. The setup is complete. Now, let's move on to the entry conditions. For a long trade, the following must be met. 
First, the price must be closed above the 200 EMA. Second, the machine learning strategy must then print a blue label. Lastly, the error sign must be either sawed prior to the buy signal. As soon as these conditions are met, you can open a long trade. Set the stop loss below the recent swing low. Target 1 is to 1.5 risk rewards ratio. Once you have made a quarter of the profit, adjust the stop loss to the break even price. For example, you risk 5% of your account per trade in order to make 10. The price moves in your direction and the unrealized profit is running at 1.5%, which is almost 30% of your target. As soon as that happens, adjust the stop loss and secure the trade. Here's one more example, just so you fully understand the strategy. We can see that the price is in a clear uptrend. The RSI became oversawed, which signals that we can purchase the security at a discounted price. Then the machine learning printed a buy label. We followed the rules and execute the trade. Do the opposite for short trade. First, wait until the price below the 200 EMA. The RSI must become overboard during the pullback. After that, wait for machine learning to give a final confirmation. There is one more important note I forgot to mention. Do not enter the trade if the RSI turned over sold at the time the sell signal was issued. Open a short trade only if all the rules are in place. Set the stop loss above the recent swing high and target 1 is to 1.5 risk rewards ratio. Move the stop loss to the break even once a quarter of the profit is made. Okay, now once we know the rules, let's move on to the back testing results. So the starting account balance was set at $1,000. And after 100 trades, 72 trade win, 28 trade loss, finally the strategy increased it to $6,800. I find it magically that the strategy's 1 ratio isn't even the highest out of all the strategies I've tested so far. The truth is, this particular strategy involves a bit higher risk than the usual strategy you might find on my channel. You've probably noticed by now that the risk per trade was set at 5% instead of 1.5%. It's no secret that such risk involves higher drawdowns, but it also gives you a higher reward. By no means am I saying that you should risk 5% of your account per trade, especially if you have a bigger account. But if your goal is to growth a small account fast, this risk per trade might be appropriate. So give the strategy a try, but don't skip the forward testing phase on a paper account. I can't stress enough how important it is. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more strategies for Forex, Crypto, and Stock so check out this playlist right here. See you soon. Thanks for watching our video.